Scientists may have found a way to spot autism in children earlier than ever before. The promising new research involves brain scans, and it's reported today in the American Journal of Psychiatry. Dr. John LaPook tells us what it all means. Children with autism are rarely diagnosed before the second year of life. But scientists have wondered if problems in the brain start earlier. 92 infants were followed from six months until age two. All were high risk because their siblings had autism. 28 were diagnosed with the disorder. Researchers noticed differences when they looked back at the brain scans. Dr. Joseph Piven led this study. During infancy, it's a time when the infant is organizing their brain, the wiring is rapidly developing. Uh, we were able to detect uh, changes in that wiring or differences in the wiring by six months of age in those children that went on to develop autism. This special type of MRI scan shows the development of 15 different circuits in the brain. More developed nerve connections are in red, less developed in blue. The pattern is significantly different in infants with autism. It has great promise for uh, early detection of autism, um, for early intervention of autism during a time either prior to the emergence of uh, the symptoms or during a time when the symptoms are just beginning to unfold. Early diagnosis is key because research suggests the symptoms of autism, problems with communication, social interaction, and behavior can improve with early intervention. John, what does this mean for parents? Scott, I think it may be a sense of relief for them because I've spoken to a lot of parents of kids who have autism and they are up against it emotionally, financially. There's often a sense of guilt. Is it something I did after the child was born? Well, this study shows the changes start so early so they may have a sense of relief. Important new work, John. Thanks very much.